amigo y anfitrión de DJs Pro Tube y hoy nos vamos a criticar otra cerveza de México y qué cerveza es es una de las cervezas una de las, de las ediciones especiales de la cervecería Cuauhtémoc Moctezuma y qué cerveza es es Noche Buena that's right guys you hear me speaking the Spanish so you know it's got to be Mexican beer time hell yes and it's from our friends Heineken also known as Bohemia and Guatemoc Moctezuma out of Monterrey Nuevo León Mexico that's right and what beer we talked we talked about Noche Buena and what kind of beer is it it's a Bach it's a Christmas or seasonal serving if you prefer it clocks in at 5.9% ABV and 18 IBUs I can't believe it's already Christmas beer time again. Now, this is the number one selling seasonal beer in all of Mexico. And now we're starting to find it, you know, here in the United States as well. The only thing I know about ingredients of this is that they're using, um, you know, dark roasted malts and they're using Styrian hops. So, besides that, you know what, it just don't matter probably, as long as it tastes good. I've had this beer several, many much times on my trips down to the Yucatan for Christmas. You know what, so, Ah, it's time to have Noche Buena here in Estados Unidos. So, time to pop the top. Boom, gigantic kiss on the top. Get it in the glass here and tell you what's up with Noche Buena. Hell yes. Ah, it's been a while since I've had this brew. I always like this when I'm down in Mexico. And all the Bohemia brand beers, um, I think, are all pretty damn solid. They're all traditional German styles, like this is a Bach, of course. But um, they're done very well, I think, for what they are. So, let's talk about the appearance. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous garnet color. Tons of active bubbles coming up from the bottom. And we've got a solid one finger of khaki colored bubbles. <coughs> Excuse me, a little bit soap sudsy. When I swirl it, eh, we're not really getting any alcohol eggs. I don't expect so. At 5.9%, we may, may get some glass lacing as well. But this head's kind of receding pretty quick. But... Look at that. That is a beautiful looking beer in the glass. Makes me want to celebrate. Oh, whatever. So, but you know what? Even though it's pretty, it's got to smell good too. So let's dive in for the aroma. Mmm, yum. Big, big floral hops. Tons and tons of caramel malt. Mmm, nice and bready. Sweet. Maybe a little tiny, tiny bit of chocolate and coffee in the aroma there if you really dig for it. Not super complex, nice and fruity as well. It just smells like sweet deliciousness in a glass. You know what, I like box, and I know I like this beer already, but it's been a while since I've had it, so let's dive in. Salud! Yum. Hey, there we go. Got some nice glass lacing. Tasty. Reminds me a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, of their Martin that they make, um, Indio. It's a little, I think a little bit better put together than Indio. Indio is sort of like super mega mass produced, not like this isn't, but it's only once a year. And it's got a better malt backbone to it, I think. It's not as thin, it's got a medium thin mouthfeel. It's crisp up in front. You get like a, you get a caramel sweet maltiness. After that floral hops, a bit of fruitiness from the yeast esters. And it's just damn easy to drink. For 5.9%, you can't taste any alcohol in this at all. It goes down super smooth. Um, <clears throat> 18 IBUs, you're not talking anything bitterness in there. But it's got a little bit. It's not to, uh, like a cloying sweet bomb or anything like that. Not a super complex beer. It is what it is. It's malt, fruitiness, and earthy hops. Boom, we're done. Well, and floral hops, too. A little more floral than earthy, actually. Mm. And there's a decent amount... A kind of like coffee-ish and burnt brown sugar-ish kind of flavor to it that balances out the big sweetness that's in this brew. But totally quaffable, and I'm going to have a Noche Buena, I guess, tonight, a good night, right? So, anywho, let's talk about grading this beer. At time of recording, Beer Africa gives it 3.35 out of 5, which is, I guess, good or okay, whatever they would say on their scale. Um, I guess that's probably like B-plus-ish, you know, just getting into there. And Untaps has given this 3.54 out of 5, so I'd say that's a solid B, verging on B+, plus with those guys as well. Um, let me take another taste here. 
I'm going to go about the same. I'd say it's a really solid B+. Plus. Totally drinkable. I would buy it again, and I'd drink it again without reservation. It's a really tasty beer. It's made well. It's not a mind blower, but it's also not fizzy piss water, and considering it's been put out by a mass producer, it's a quality product. So, have you had Noche Buena? Whatever we hear, because they've been making, I think, since like 2002, maybe before then. That's the earliest reviews I've saw of it. I've seen of it anyway. It could be around a lot longer than that. I don't know. But, um, whatever year you've had it, you've been drinking it for your whole life, and, and you can tell me I'm wrong. It's been around for 50 years, DJ. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Tell me. I like the quid pro quo and the <laughs> back and forth. And if you want to do it in English or Spanish, no problem. Just lay it down on the words, and I will reply. Anywho, ooh, you know what's also really cool? When you think globally, drink locally, and support the craft beer movement, I am getting it done. <laughs> As you can see, I'm definitely thinking globally today. Also, if you could do me a big favor and rate, comment, subscribe, and if you can get around to it, consider maybe smashing that like button because that, along with yeah, one, maybe two, Noche Buenas is all I'm going to need tonight to put my ah, big-ass holiday beard, drink it, happy face on. So the neck DJ Brew Tube, I got nothing but a hell of a bunch of Noche Buena drinking love for you, and you know what's coming. That's right. <laughs> You're ready for it by now. Okay. Here you go. A big peace out!